If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy, tonight is your answer. Welcome back to Harbaugh. Joining me now is U.S. Congressman Kendrick Meek. He's been on the show many times. He's from Florida. He's a Democrat and South Carolina State Representative Bakari Sowers. Congressman, you first about last night. I just want your thoughts, your feelings. This is still a new reality to so many of us. Well, in Florida, we were just excited to be a part of this win for Barack Obama. And um, I'm excited as a policymaker here in Washington, D.C., to see one of my colleagues from the Congressional Black Caucus dream that he could be the president of the United States and America endorse that dream. Um, but, you know, this is the first step of many. And I know that, uh, that the president-elect, Barack Obama, is going to lead us in that direction. Mr. Sowers. Yes, sir. Your thoughts? A wide open question. It's an, exciting, it's an exciting experience. Last night, Barack Obama showed us that we can dream big dreams, uh, that we can translate hope and turn it into reality. Last night, I was able to, to cry. I was able to shed tears with my father, with my mother. It was an awesome experience. And it shows every child, an African-American child in South Carolina or a Latino young girl in, in Nevada, that we can dream big dreams, and those dreams can become reality, and we can change the world. Let's switch to politics for a second. In fact, let's go to politics. Now, uh, Congressman Meeks, you've served in the House. You know how, how important that majority is. You're going to have a stronger majority by about 20 seats. You're going to have an extra six or seven seats in the U.S. Senate. You're going to have a president of your party leading you. Is this going to be an Obama party for the next year or so? In other words, will his agenda be the agenda of the government, period? From what I'm hearing from the leaders in the House and Senate, that they're looking to work with the new administration and moving America forward. As you know, uh, Chris, we started two years ago in this new direction, Congress. The only thing that we did not have is a supermajority in the Senate and uh, enough in the House to be able to override the president. But now we have a president that we can at least communicate with um, and has the same vision and values that we have. And I believe that you'll see um, um, universal health care for children with S-CHIP. I think you'll see an energy policy that will be progressive. And I think you'll see automatically um, an economic policy that will help America bounce back. So I think there will be some great success. I believe um, uh, President-elect Obama will be the leader, the drum major, in bringing us down that road. But I, we will work together in making that happen. I don't think that you'll see us go too far left or too far right. I think we'll be just right at the right temperature here in well, Washington. What, what will be your stopper? What will be your break that stops you from going too far over and doing special interest bills? that drives your popularity down and your ability to govern down? What will stop you from doing what you want to do? What well, we have, a diverse, we have a diverse caucus in the Democratic caucus. It's, we're not lockstep like the Republicans were uh, two or three years ago. I mean, we have, a, we have a Blue Dog caucus. We have a Progressive caucus. We have Black Hispanic caucus. Uh, we have a number of caucuses that are there that have very strong views. And uh, Speaker Pelosi and Leader Reid, uh, they worked very hard over the last two years in keeping us together and keeping us united. And I believe we'll have those common goals as we get closer um, to President Obama becoming, uh, taking the office um, on January the 20th. Representative Sowers, the, uh, the campaign of Barack Obama has been stellar in its discipline. Uh, no real screw-ups, no real embarrassments. Occasionally a line he shouldn't have spoken like people get bitter with the government and they, they go to guns and they cling to guns and religion. Those lines hurt him, but nothing really strategically went wrong in this campaign, as it often does. Do you have a sense this, uh, this man, Barack Obama, can run a government with that kind of discipline so he doesn't have Katrina disasters and Monica disasters and embarrassments that just sort of ruin the mandate. Uh, this is the man that I believe in. He has a vision. He has the political depth to change the country. He has the courage. He asked himself, if not me, then who? And if not now, then when? He stood up when everyone else told him to sit down. And I'm just so excited that finally we have a leader that we can be proud of. I'm only 24 years old. I haven't seen that many presidents. But I can guarantee you that many Americans, if not all Americans, and individuals throughout the world are extremely proud that this country was able to stand up yesterday and elect President Barack Obama. Well, let me ask you about that as a young guy, because I've seen more history than you, and I've 
I've seen a lot of it, and I've seen the white-only signs, and I saw them in Georgia driving down the south, and I saw them in laundromat windows in Louisiana during Peace Corps training back in the late 60s. Four years after the Civil Rights Bill, I saw those signs still in the window. What does it feel like to grow up and not see them? In fact, not even really have any well, memory I, whatever of them. Is it real? Well, Mr. Matthews. Mr. Matthews, I tell you, every day I work under the auspices of the Confederate flag here in South Carolina. Um, in my discussions with my father, I understand that we asked ourselves the question, how far have we come? I understand it's been 40 years since Dr. King was assassinated. It's been 40 years since Robert F. Kennedy was assassinated. It's been 40 years since the Orangeburg Massacre. But yesterday told us that we've made progress in this country. But I think Congressman Meek and I both understand that although we've made progress, nevertheless, we still have yet a ways to go. So I'm not going to forget about that struggle as we move forward in this country and in this great state of South Carolina. Congressman Meeks, talk about this because you're living this history. As a young guy, you're living right through it. Well, I can tell you, um, after Representative Sellers, what he said, my friend, I, don't, I can't add much to that. I can tell you that um, this is definitely, for both of us being from the South, um, a moving a moment um, for policymakers, but definitely for people. I saw proud people standing in line, people of goodwill, not just black, but folks that understand what it means to punch in and punch out every day. So this is a very serious point in our country, but a point of celebration. And I believe that we'll rise up and, and, and um, President Barack Obama-elect um, is going to lead us in that direction. I'm excited about it. Chris, I was just out in front of the cap west steps of the Capitol today just watching the workers put together the stage for the inauguration. And it wow. was um, a very moving um, time for me. And I was with some military officers that are going to be in charge of the inauguration. And just to know that um, in a very short couple of months that this country is going to take a step that has never taken before. And we're going to have a president that's going to take on a burden that a, a president has never taken on before. So I'm ready for the challenge. Um, I know that Representative Sellers is ready for the challenge on the, on the state level. And uh, I'm excited about it. This excitement will continue. And people will do things. America, Americans will serve in this administration. They'll take pay cuts. They'll do whatever they have to do. Uh, to put this country on the right track. And so uh, I, I think country first as it relates to service now here in, in Congress, and I think you're going to see a bipartisanship that you've never seen before. Sounds like the new new frontier. Sir, thank yeah. you very much. U.S. Congressman thank Kendrick Meek of Florida and State Representative Bakari Sellers of South Carolina. Up next, Barack